How's it going, Raiders? I'm Karen Hernandez, Community Manager at Mercury Steam, and today I'm going to talk to you about Hades Betrayal, Raiders of the Broken Planet's third campaign that launches today. Let's have a look at one of its new missions, Double Agent, where Schneider, one of the Raiders' new enemies, has a vital role. What have you done to him? You know you saw a lobotomite! I have injected hypnotic neuromuscular blocker. As you can see, the Raiders have hacked Schneider, forcing him to follow our orders and open the gates of the Hades Division's research lab for us. We will have to escort him, buying him time to override the Hades Division's security protocols while fencing off the enemy hordes that are guarding the facilities. Schneider has a gauge bar that decreases when he takes enemy fire. Once it is exhausted, he will be free of the hacking and will try to escape, and we must either shoot him or punch him in close combat, and then charge him up with Aleph to reactivate his trance state and have him under our control once more. New players will find that Raiders of the Broken Planet is a cooperative game where four Raiders must complete different objectives during the missions. To achieve that, they will make use of their special abilities along with hand-to-hand -hand combat, teamwork, and of course their weapons that they can now customize to their own taste using the new Forge system. So what's the Forge? It's a brand new feature related to the totally revamped progression system, allowing us to modify our weapon's stats, increasing the firepower or the chance to receive better rewards, among other things. And who are the Raiders? They are our avatars in the game, the worst kind of galactic scum, who have joined Herrick, the resistance leader, in his fight to liberate the broken planet from the human invaders. How in darnation do I get my goddamn music back now? Music? Where is my fucking music? Leave that to me, Red. But it won't be an easy task, as our game could be invaded by a fifth player, the antagonist, who will have only one goal, to prevent the raiders from achieving their objectives and avoid things going their way. Well, hopefully that's all the trouble we'll find, right?